Good morning guys, it's 5.20 in the morning and I'm gonna do my what I eat in a day video for you guys backed by popular demand. You guys all have been wanting to know what I eat now that I'm postpartum, I had my baby and so getting back in shape and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let you follow me around for the day. I'm up early and dressed already for my workout because we're gonna start the day with 5.45 a.m. stairs intervals. So I wanna take you along and show you what that workout is like. I'm gonna bring the baby with me in the baby carrier. So um, no food yet, oh, but I'll be eating my first meal after that. Okay, let's go. Baby loves coming with me in the morning, don't you baby? Yeah, so we just got a fresh taper on. I'm getting myself suited up and then we're gonna go head out. There we go. So it's almost 5.30, time for us to leave. We go run the stairs. And when I say run, I basically mean walk the stairs, but she's excited. Are you excited, babes? Are you excited? Yeah. Let's work out. Let's work out. Bye. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, before you think I do this every single morning, I don't. I only do this one to maybe two times per week at the most. So not that much cardio. I may do like a third cardio throughout the week, but I'm not doing cardio every single day because I lose my gains. So for me, it's really important to focus the majority of my training on strength building. So cardio, I only do a couple times per week. It helps me with fat loss. So I don't always bring baby with me either. I just bring her when I haven't pumped any milk out. So yeah, you're seeing my like one or two times of the week that I'm up this early in the dark doing cardio. It's not every day. Here we are. All right, let's get it. All begins with a step. Okay, so we're back and I'm about to do my first meal of the day. So I'm having some of these rolled oats and I'm gonna cook. I'm doing about half a cup of oats now um, because oats really help with lactation. So as you guys know, I my normal portion size is a quarter of a cup. I don't like a lot in the morning, but I've been making an effort to have extra because I think it really does help with milk supply. So, so that's what I'm having for breakfast and I'll put some frozen blueberries on that, a little bit of almond milk, some cinnamon, and so that is meal number one. Not a lot of high protein because after cardio, I don't really find that like the protein is that necessary. I only did like 30 minutes of um, cardio exercise. So for me, I'll save my post-workout shake for later today when I actually do a lifting workout. Yeah, baby's talking over there, but these are the supplements I'm taking. So I have three um, postnatal vitamins, one probiotic, and then I have two um, like sunflower lecithin pills that helps with keeping things unclogged here. And then I also have one like vitamin D3. So that's what I'm taking. I'm gonna throw these back with some water. And there we have it. Two tablespoons almond milk, fourth a cup of blueberry, frozen blueberries, and some cinnamon. Super easy. So I'm sipping on some decaf coffee and water while I answer some emails. I'm also working on the meal planner software. I really wanted to show you guys this so you can see how I actually plan my meals and figure out macros and calories for everything. So if you guys have never seen this before, this is Brad's meal planner software, and this is where you can enter your foods and the, val and the weight of the food, and then it'll give you the food values. So that is how I do it. I was saying on Snapchat the other day that food values are really only important in the context of your daily totals, and people always ask me, ah, how do you know how many grams of whatever to eat and stuff? And it's like, well, you know because you decide how many grams of protein you want and how many grams of carbs and how many fat, what percentages you want in your diet, and that helps you make that decision, like how much of which foods you should select. You always wanna give some forethought to what you're eating instead of tracking it after the fact, like, oh, I just ate this, let me enter it into my fitness pal. Instead, if you use the meal planner software, it can help you, um, you know, consciously choose your macronutrients and your calorie level and everything before it happens. That way it's not, 
too late and you don't end up at the end of the day with like a mess um you know with macros all wrong like not getting it how you want it so i do this for clients if you want me to do your meal plan it's livelingtv.com forward slash coaching um as you can see i also do it for myself and i think it's a really useful tool and of course you know it's not about perfection but it's about goal setting and having goals Having goals is everything. Okay guys, so it's time for me to make meal two of the day and I've got all the ingredients out. I'm just gonna do a quick overview real quick. And you know, I don't want this video to turn into like a cooking lesson, so I'm gonna try to just keep it short, show you what's in it, and then show you the finished product. But I just pulled like a bunch of vegetables and eggs and leftover meat out of the fridge and I'm snacking on these grapes right here. So let me just cook this, whip this up together, and then I'll show you the final plate, okay? One quick note, guys, as I'm actually measuring my meat here is that when meat is cooked, it's gonna be a little um, denser than when it's raw. So when you're trying to hit a certain measurement, like I'm trying to get four ounces, which would be 120 grams, I'm gonna go slightly under when it's cooked. See, I'm using like 96 grams because it's close enough, and you know, you lose some of the weight when the moisture comes out, so. Um, I'm also making food for Brad, so I have his plate started over here with some steak, and then I'm making three eggs for him, but anyway, I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> Cooking up some fresh veggies, and there's actually pickles in there too, because why not? And it's gonna go on top of that. Son. My plate, Boo's plate. Are you happy I made your post-workout meal for you, Boo? Yes, I'm so hungry, but I have my shake over there first. Yes, but it's funny because what typically ends up being your post-workout meal is my pre-workout meal. So honestly, it's the same freaking thing, basically. Mine's a little bit smaller than his. I just finished the Lean but... Warrior workout. Oh yeah. From Team Live Lean November plan. And you loved it? I finished uh, the Battlefield workout. Five rounds, baby. Abs are on fire, cardio's feeling good. And it's on video? It's on video, it's gonna be on the vlog. I don't know when your video's going out. This one's for Thursday. So it'll be on, not the Saturday. week. Saturday. It'll be two weeks probably from when you see it. Oh, gonna make them wait. Let's make them stew. <laughs> <laughs> Time for our mommy and me lifting session. So guys, today I'm doing upper body and I have baby with me. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I make it work. And sometimes I do have to take breaks if she gets fussy or something. I'll stop and like soothe her or sometimes even breastfeed in the middle of my workout. But you know, this is better than getting no workout at all. So I try to get in um, a full workout, but I just kind of go with the flow and do what I can. So guys, my first set consists of pull downs on this cable right here. And then I'm super setting with like lower ad lifts. Baby just chilling.
Guys, I'm afraid this video is gonna be way too freaking long if I show you like me cooking every single meal. So I'm just gonna tell you real quick, I'm making big ass salad, making some steamed sweet potatoes back there, and I'm gonna just show you the final result. <laughs> Put some celery, some spinach, it has some of this chicken that I made in the slow cooker the other day, very delicious. I got some pecans. Um, I'm just gonna make my standard lazy dressing, which is olive oil, vinegar, some Mrs. Dash, and salt and pepper, and that's it. Voila, big ass salad. I really should have made the not lazy salad dressing, which I've shown you guys like from my Fearless Foodie Cookbook. I have some amazing salad dressing recipes that take your salad to the next level, but you know, I have work to do. I've been busy today, and so this is just kind of like my staple thing that I fall back on when I don't have time to like make a nice dressing. Um, so the sweet potatoes are cooking over here in the little steam basket, and then once those are done, I just like literally throw them on top of the salad and call it a meal. And I'm on to my last meal of the day. It's almost seven o'clock here. I'm putting together a tuna sandwich. So I used um, this can of tuna. I'm only gonna use about a third of that, put the rest away. Cause just cause you open something doesn't mean you have to use it all. We're a big fan of like leftovers and having containers in the fridge full of ready to eat stuff. It's awesome. So I just go ahead and season it all. And you can see I put some mustard, some celery, salt and pepper, and fresh lime juice. Makes it taste really good. I'm also adding some of this bitchin' sauce um, as a spread on the bread. This has, <laughs> Kai Kai. I'm putting some of this bitchin' sauce on the bread as a spread. This is Ezekiel toast, and it has really similar macros to almond butter, but I did enter the macros for bitchin' sauce into the software, so I got it pretty exact, but the uh, main ingredient here is almonds, but it's flavored. This one is actually the pesto flavor in case you're wondering. So I'm gonna throw together this sandwich and that is the last meal of the day. Yummy. Obviously every day is not the same, but variations of the same. And I'm gonna show you guys my totals before I finish the video. So guys, here's my total meal plan. I'm gonna go ahead and include this on the blog for you so you can, you know, study it if you want to. <laughs> this is my postpartum nutrition, kind of what it looks like in a snapshot. You can see what my daily totals are of each macronutrient, yada yada. So that is that. Planning your meals out in advance is just a world of help. So if you've never done your nutrition this way, I recommend giving it a try. Once you know what your nutritional goals are, it's much easier to select the right foods in the right amounts to hit those goals. And of course, every day is not perfect and every day is not the same, but at least you know you get close every day and that means a lot. So this is what we mean by dialing in your nutrition. I hope this video was helpful to you. I really hope you guys enjoyed like coming along with me and seeing my family as we eat healthy and this is my postpartum nutrition. It was nothing like super magical. Hopefully that wasn't disappointing. It's fairly the same as when I was eating when I was pregnant. Um, that's the thing with nutrition is there's really no magic bullets to it. It's just consistency and healthy choices. And that's how it works. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> boy, say boy, boy, keep living lean. So we're talking weight trainers. This is one of the trendiest quick fix items on the fitness market these days.